How's it going guys, Mike here and I am just another UK gamer and in this video I'll be telling you the quickest way on how to obtain the Dancer's Dagger which is the upgraded version of the Trench Knight. If you guys do enjoy the video or my content be sure to leave a like before you leave and if you are new around here consider subscribing to the channel for daily zombies videos and streams. So if you want to use the unupgraded version of this weapon which is the trench knife this can simply be found in a dead guy's body at the back of the theatre. Now for the upgrade, the first step is grabbing two parts that are necessary. The first part is a painting which can be found above the piano next to the dead girl which is in spawn. And the second part is inside the theatre. You look to the left of the projector and look up, you'll see a little film reel which is glowing red. You simply shoot it and it'll fall just behind you. Pick it up, place the parts inside the projector and shoot it with the Wonder Bus to turn it on and make a map appear behind you which will have a flashing green dot. There is four different locations each game which will end up being the save code to obtain the knife. Here is the name locations on the map so you can see whereabouts your green dot is. You simply travel to the green dot on the map and you'll see a doll which needs to be filled with souls but you actually need to remember how many kills went into it before it stops because every location out of the four will be a different amount of kills and this is how you get your four digit save code. After you have the code you simply go to the save located next to the dead girl in spawn and unlocking it is very very easy. Ignore what I'm doing in the background in this gameplay because it is old gameplay and this is an old method. In this new method you simply hold square to enter the save, turn it to the right until it reaches your first number, you stop, turn it to the left until it reaches your second number, stop again, then you turn it to the right until it reaches your third number and then turn it to the left again until you finish on your final number. And now you've probably heard many people, including myself, saying that you will need to spin it around a few times to reset it and pass numbers, but that's actually false. You simply enter your four digit code, but you have to do it from right to left to right to left. Just make sure you don't pass your number and then have to reverse a little bit because this will fail it. And to simply cancel it out and restart it, you just hold square to come off the save and square to go back onto the save. And that is pretty much it. This is super simple, honestly, guys. And when you enter the code, you'll now have the dagger. The dagger special attack is it will give you health if you're low and if you actually have full health you'll use the powerful attack which is the L2 and R2 together and you'll actually get one guy shield per kill but you have to be on full health to get it so it's definitely a very good weapon to keep on you throughout this easter egg to get unlimited shield and for sure has helped me out many many times. And that, ladies and gents, will wrap up this video. If it did help you out in any way, then a like would be appreciated. And if you are new around here, don't forget to subscribe to the channel for daily zombies videos and live streams. Thank you all for watching. I'll see you all in my next video.